Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey, man, this is Jason, and this is Sick Made Airbrushing coming at you. All right, man, I really appreciate you guys tuning in to uh, another episode of Sick Made Airbrushing. Um, I got another freehand uh, order to do for a customer, and we're going to just go through the process, man. This is kind of a, a, a freehand, how to, how to freehand uh, part two. So I did a previous video, so check that out <clears throat> on one uh, freehand uh, image I did. So I got another one, and I just want to just keep continuing this process because I want to push on this, man, for you guys, man. You know, um, freehand, like I said in the previous video, man, you know, freehanding is not for everybody. When you're freehanding, freehanding, you're, you're actually drawing with your airbrush, okay? So you're not drawing with a pencil, you're not using any stencils, <clears throat> you're straight up just drawing with your airbrush. And the way I want, I'm going to go about it again and how I'd say is, or do, is just build it up. You know what I'm saying? In this process, it's a pretty simple image. <clears throat> and um, I can straight up go straight to black. And just, you know, you could also use your black it, it, on a soft spray and just get your reference points up. Um, I like to use a gray just to start out with, just get my reference up there. And then I'll start using my hard points in there with my black and start going with the with the with the image and, and the painting the image. <clears throat> so, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do, man. So um, just stay with me. And um, again, I appreciate you guys tuning in. So let's just get back into it, man. And and I'm gonna throw the latest process up for you guys, man. And I want you guys to get something out of it, man. So get out there and paint, man. That's one thing I wanna do too, is motivate you guys to go out there and paint. You know, <clears throat> you gotta create, man. You gotta. When it comes to freehanding and airbrushing, you got to get out there and practice, guys. <clears throat> it doesn't just come up to you. It doesn't come to you. It, 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 you have to go attack it. Um, like I said in my, my previous video, man, just don't be, not necessarily, I say scared, but don't be necessarily uh, intimidated by what you're painting, okay, or an image that you're going to paint. You know, this is... Um, <clears throat> This is freehand airbrushing, man. You know what I mean? So it doesn't got to be exactly like the image. You're going off a of reference. So just make it your own. You know, if there's a certain type of lettering in there, you know, uh, and you want to change that, change it. You know, if, if, if <clears throat> the image is, just make it your own. You know what I mean? So just attack the image the way you see it. So, and trust me, the customer will be satisfied. As long as the image is what they give you, right? So we're going off an image. <clears throat> this is not an original piece. <clears throat> so I'm giving the customer what they want. So that's what you got to do too, man. So give the customer what they want. And the customer's either going to be like, roll with it. You know, do your own thing. Or they want an exact picture. So when you want an exact picture, then yes. That's when you gotta draw it up here. Maybe use a projector or <clears throat> something in that in that case, you know what I'm saying? But this is not this one. So the customer wants me to go ahead and just freehand it and this is what it's all about. <laughs> We're about to freehand some stuff, bro. Uh, sure. But yeah. Always come off the, the the collar about three, three and a half inches or so and start your start that's gonna be your top of your image, right? So <clears throat> get your center point wherever the tags at wherever the centers at and then start your image and the reason why I say start out lights and it doesn't matter if it, I'm going hard lines with black so I'm gonna use a, a, a gray or I could actually use my black and just use soft points but those soft points are to get your reference up here and that's it you just you're not really you could go as far as doing one two three layers of, of soft painting and bringing that image out um, in this case I'm just gonna do two and, um, so, but you guys get out there man get out there and paint get out there and create the more drawing you do on paper or if you have uh, an iPad or whatever the case is man you're, and you're drawing and creating 
<clears throat> it doesn't always have to be a, an original piece, right? Practicing your freehand, you, like this case right here, I'm drawing an image, right, that the customer wants. I'm giving the customer what they want. They want me to make it whatever in my own, but they're giving me an image to go off of, right? That's my reference. <clears throat> so, but like when you're drawing and stuff like that, man, draw, just draw something. Look at something and draw it, you know what I mean? So that makes, it helps you in this part of the game of airbrushing freehand. And I can't tell you, I can't stress that enough, you guys. Um, I used to do a lot of drawing, but I do a lot more drawing on here, so I just go ahead and go with it. But when you're drawing and creating on paper or, or, or on the iPad or, or any kind of tablet, <clears throat> it gets easier doing it on here. And you're not so much intimidated by, you know, the surface, right? Because this is going to a customer, right? Or if you're just practicing on a shirt, you can just practice on a shirt that's not for a customer. It doesn't matter. But when you when a, a customer wants something, you know, it, it puts a little bit more pressure on you. <laughs> just a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's when uh, you just go to town, man. You go attack the image and go to town and do your best at it, right? Because, and also too, man, we're our worst critics, right? We're our worst critics. So something that we see that, that we could do better or it's not that good or whatever, a customer sees that as a hundred times better than what we think okay so so you got to remember that and, and stay confident you got to be confident going into something like this okay go confident be confident and and what you put out if you're happy with it customer is going to be a hundred times happier than you and they're going to appreciate it more than what you do and also too with, with free handy man i get more satisfaction you know what i'm saying i get more satisfaction drawing something on here with no stencils I got nothing against stencils I love I use stencils or cutouts or some anything like that but I get a lot of satisfaction when I'm doing an image my own you know what I'm saying when I'm freehanding it drawing it with my airbrush it just you get more satisfaction I get a lot of satisfaction <laughs> all right so this and I want to I want to teach you guys something who are new to the airbrushing um, or even if you just you know airbrushing and you want to get better at this you know freehanding is not for everybody you can learn it and you can do it but you got to practice guys if it's just freehanding lettering script bubble graffiti graffiti will help you out a lot if you're doing graffiti names <clears throat> stuff like that that helps you out in this game right here man so just remember that so just practice, practice, practice. You know what I mean? That's that's my main points in all this is just to get you guys out there and create and freehand. Practice your freehanding, man. So, all right. Here's my image. Lay that up here. All right.
right, you guys. So, we're going to do a little voiceover here. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, at this point, man, we're, we're laying the, the transparent gray down and getting the reference getting the reference up on the, the shirt, man. So, just getting all the points in there. Um, you don't got to go heavy on it. Just go real light. And don't worry about making a mistake at this point because... You could cover it up once. We, remember, just when you start out light like this, man, you, you guys are create you're creating, uh, you know, the shading part of it and all that stuff could just is, could fall into place later in this image, man. So don't worry about making a mistake at any point at this time. So just keep it up, man, and and, and just remember that, and let's just roll with it, man, and have some fun with doing this, man. So as you get this reference up, man, and you're just doing all your soft points and getting it, getting your image up in place, you step back and, and look at the image, make sure everything's centered. This is where you you should be getting more confidence in in putting down your outline and putting down the black. Um, don't be intimidated. Don't make. Don't think that you're gonna make a mistake and not correct it. All that stuff, just man, just go with the flow. You know, just is freehand airbrushing, you guys. So you know, you create it and, and you put it out. So just remember too, man, we are our worst critics, guys. So you know what we put out and what we think of our art and what we put out, man. It might it's it's someone else could be completely different and like it a hundred times better than what you like it, man. So you know. We put it out, just lay it out, and, and build confidence, man. So when, you, when you're ready to put this black in and get the outline going, that's when you should be proud of yourself that you got this far and you're just laying the hard points down. So just keep it up, guys. And, and, and like I said, man, just don't give up and put the work in. You know what I mean? So now we're just going to go ahead and go to town, man. Yeah, so 
to all you metalheads out there, you guys know where this image is coming from. I'm not going to say the band's name. I'm not going to mess around with no copyrights like that. And again, guys, this is this is not my image. This is not an original piece. But I am painting it as I see it and how I want it to be. Um, it's not an exact piece, but it does look like the image. So at this point, I'm putting in the blood splatter, throwing in my red. Because um, in this, as a colored image, that's, that's what this is. Uh, it's just red and black, man. That's all it is. So it's pretty simple. This is just a mediocre image, guys. So like the next image um, that I'm going to be painting, I'll make it a little more simple. Um, I know these last two videos I've done has been skulls and, and whatnot. I just figure skulls are, everyone likes skulls, man, and, and they're easy and they're fun to do, man. So I'm just going to finish this up and we're just going to keep it rolling, guys. Thanks a lot. All right, you guys, so this image is um, looking pretty good, man. It's all coming together. So, you know, this is when you get to this point of uh, putting your, your lettering in, this is where you got to really be on point, man. I mean, you can fix any mistakes that you make in your lettering, but you really want to be on point with your lettering. You got this far in the image, and you created the, the image as it is, and you, don't, you just don't want to mess up, man. So uh, make sure your spelling is correct. And you know, this is just a basic print. Um, I did on the metal part. I did a, a, a scratch type of uh, lettering, but the other parts is just a basic print. But anyways, yeah, man, just stay on point with that, and, and don't forget to just um, just double check yourself while you're painting, man. All right, you guys, I just wanted uh, to thank you guys, man, for staying in this video and, and, and going with the process, man. I really do hope you guys uh, are getting something out of this. I really do appreciate that. So, you know, these images like this, guys, especially when you got an image that you're, you're, you're drawing, you're painting with your airbrush, right? You know, you drawing these will get you better at creating stuff on your own and just being creative on 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 freehand being original um this will help you out a lot so just keep that in mind um all, anything that you see and you could draw and you just keep drawing over and over man you, you start creating your own stuff and getting better at it and seeing the the ins and outs of, of how to, to create your own stuff so that's what the main point is in these video in these in this video is basically man just don't stop working man you got to put the work in and, and have fun doing it when you lay stuff on paper and then you lay it down on on a shirt like this man i'm telling you the satisfaction is is mind-blowing it, it feels really good to to get something like this down and and freehand it yourself you know uh, I, to myself, I just get a whole lot of satisfaction, man. So, um, I, mean, I know you will too. So, anyways, guys, uh, appreciate it. The video's just about over, man. So, um, again, I thank you guys.
So at this point, you guys, I'm pretty happy with um, what I'm seeing, what I'm, what I've, what, I, basically what I, what I've created, and you know, pretty satisfied with um, the outcome of this image. So that's to be something that you guys should be proud of too, to get to this point, to the, to the basically the the the, the finish line, man. So. When you're getting to this point, man, you should be feel, feeling really good and, and, and confidence level should be way up there, man. So, again, just don't ever give up, guys. Keep that hustle on. Keep that grind on, man, because that's what it's all about. And I'm here to push you guys and, and to get out there and, and do your thing, man. So, hopefully you guys get something out of this. I know I do repeat myself a lot, man, but, you know, I really do want, want that for you guys. Um, getting to this level it's been years in the making man so it's, it's not going to come overnight so just remember that you got to put the work in guys um, so anyways guys this is this is the finish line <laughs>